Yeah. That's why he said that to him. You know, stay up while I go pray to the Father because, you know, it's that, it's that easy for them to fall into temptation, you know, from the wicked one, man. That's how how Satan is out here, man. How Shaitan, he out here seeking whom he may devour. So you got to be having the full armor of God on you all the time, man. All right, this is not a game, Zion. This is real, man. This is our life and our soul on the line. This word here is our life, man. This is the living waters. So we got to be careful that we don't be deceived in these last days, man. All right, Satan comes in all shapes and forms and sizes and colors, man. You got to be careful. Even in your own family member, man. Your own household. You can have enemies there, man. So Christ said, you came to bring division, not peace, man, but a sword. All right? The Most High is all about division. He's not about coming together. He didn't want the world to come together. If he did or whatever, he would have he would have did it in the beginning. But he separated Israel to be for him. And the nations are given to, to Hashatan, man. All right? They worship idols and stars and the moon and the sun, which the Most High gave to them to worship. He's not their God. They just won't get it. All right, um, let's go to John 5 and 24. John 5, am I here? Yeah, let's go to John 5 and 24. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me have everlasting life. See that? And shall not come into condemnation. Because when you don't accept Hamashiach, man, you're already condemned. But it's passed from death unto life because he, uh, the Most High gave him the sure mercies of David. All right. He's the king of Zion. Um, read Psalms too. All right. Hamashiach is all over this word. It's all over the Bible, man. But a lot of our people stumble because the most high open their eyes up, man. They stiff neck people. All right. And, um, something, something, um, matter of fact, let me finish this and then I'm going to go to it. Uh, here is my word, right? So the most high put all things in the Hamashiach. All things was made through Hamashiach, for Hamashiach. You see? Because why? Uh, what is it? Let me go to 1 Corinthians 1 and 24 real quick. I just want to go there to show you something, Zion. See, a lot of people won't acknowledge Hamashiach. But that's going to be their downfall. 1 Corinthians 1 and 24. Verse 24. Listen to this. But unto them which are called, both Jew and Greeks... All right. Now we know already that the Jews is Judah, Benjamin, Levi, and these Greeks is the ten tribes of Ephraim, the northern kingdom. They was called Gentiles because God cast them off. Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. See that? Christ is the power of Elohim and the wisdom of him. All right. Let's Let's get a confirmation real quick. Let's go to... Revelations, Revelations 3 and 14, all right, and unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write, these things say of the Amen, the faithful and true witness, he's the faithful and true witness of Mashiach, the beginning of the creation of God. See, so when you worship Hamashiach, you're worshiping the Most High because Hamashiach is the word of the Most High. 
He was there in the beginning with the Most High. He is the power of the Most High, the beginning, the creation. When the Most High said, let there be light, let's make man in our image. That was Hamashiach and the Holy Spirit he was talking to. You see what I'm saying? So the Most High always been there. Uh, Hamashiach always been there with the Most High. So you, Most High is getting glorified through his, his word. You're not worshiping another God. That's because people don't understand, man. They don't have the discernment to understand these scriptures. All right. So they say, oh, God is one God. He is the savior. Yes. He's glorified from every angle, man. He manifests his word in the fleshly body, man. Christ became what? The son of God, the son of David. He became the uh, the high priest. He became the New Testament. He became, um, you know, all power was given to him. He became all in all. It's the most high. So you're not worshiping two gods. All right. That's why when you go here, you know, I know everybody knows this. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. What he do? This is all he did. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the father, full of grace and truth. All the most I did was send his holy word and so to Mary. All right. Through the Holy Spirit. All right, just like the Holy Spirit from birth was with John the Baptist. All right, that's all he did. You're not worshiping no other God. You're worshiping the same God. But our people don't understand because they destroy for lack of knowledge. You see what I'm saying? They destroy. Let's go here, Second Edras. All right, 43. For as soon as thy word went forth, the work was made. All right, that was Mashiach. That was a Mashiach, man. This is a Mashiach too. Wisdom. Wisdom. The uh, Mashiach is all, man. He was there since the beginning of the Most High. Uh, let me see what That was Wisdom of Solomon. this for thy corruptible spirit is in all things his, his spirit is incorruptible remember it's his word Christ said these words are to speak unto your spirit and life first Peter 1 verse 23 gotta be born again by the um, incorruptible word word is the spirit man let's go let's see what else we got Bear with me, Zion. Uh, I know it was. Maybe it's. I think I was in the book of Ecclesiastes. Let me see. Wisdom shall praise herself and shall glory in the midst of her people. This is all Hamashiach, man. And the congregation of the Most High shall she open her mouth and in triumph. The Most High always called, you gotta understand, just like he called Israel daughters, all right? Daughters and Jerusalem his wife. All right, he's spoken similar to and metaphors, right? So it's the same thing. All of this is Hamashiach, man. And the congregation of the Most High shall she open her mouth and triumph before His power. I came out of the mouth of the Mo I came out of the mouth of the Most High, and I covered the earth as a cloud. This is the this is Hamashiach, man. I dwelt in high places, and my throne is in a cloudy pillar. I alone can pass the circuit of heaven and walk in the bottom of the deep, in the waves of the sea, and in all the earth, and in every people and nation. I got a possession. All right. With all these, I sought rest, and in whose inheritance shall I abide? So. He's looking like, the wisdom is looking like, where can I buy that? So the creator of all things gave me a commandment, and that he made me cause my tabernacle to rest. He said, let that dwelling place be in Jacob, and thy inheritance in Israel. He created me from the beginning before the world. 
and I shall never fail. In the holy tabernacle I served before him, and so was I established in Zion. Likewise, in the beloved city, he gave me rest, and in Jerusalem was my power. See that? And I took root in an honorable people, even in the, in the Lord, in a portion of the Lord's inheritance. All right? So we have to understand that all spirits come from the Most High. It's coming from one Lord, man, one spirit. All right? This is Hamashiach, man. Hamashiach is the word and the wisdom. It's the most highest word. So you're not worshiping other gods. Right? That's just, that don't make sense. You're worshiping the same God. That's why we go here to end it. For there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word. Okay, why do you think they put the Word here? Why do you think the Father put the Word here? To let you know His Word always been with Him. He just manifested His Word in the fleshly body through the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. These three are one. So the Holy Spirit is not a feminine spirit. They need to stop those lies, man. Alright, the Most High is going to put them to death when He returns for lying. And there are three that bear witness in earth, the spirit and water and the blood. This is how we come here. And these things, uh, and these three agree in one. All right. He that believe on the son of God have the witness in himself. He that believe not, God have made him a liar because he believe not on the record that God gave his son. And this is the record that God have given up to us eternal life. And this life is in his son. All right. Verse 20, and we know that the Son of God is come and have given us an understanding. That's right, because he's wisdom, man. He's, he's it all. That we may know him that is true. And we are in him that is true. Even in his son Yeshua, Hamashiach, this is the true God and eternal life. All right? Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Amen. See, because they're not going to teach you this, man. Let's go to Romans 8 and 2. They want you to not have Hamashiach. If you don't have Hamashiach, you don't have the Father. That's just how it is. Romans 8 verse 2. For the law of the spirit of life, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ, Jesus, or Yeshua, have made me free from the law of sin and death. All right? So... Let's continue, Romans 7 and 14. For we know that the law is spiritual, all right? But I am carnal, sold under sin. You have to keep the law through the Spirit, man. Through His Son, Hamashiach. Let's go to uh, Romans 8 and 6. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. And Christ said, he is the way, the truth, and the life. These words I speak unto you are life and spirit. Let's go to uh, verse 10. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life. Just like he said. What is the spirit? The word. But the spirit is life because of righteousness. You see what I'm saying? See, I'm gonna give you, I should give you a little preview real quick. Because I got the video coming up. Alright. I got the video coming up. She gives. You know what? I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that for my video. But y'all get the point of what I'm trying to say. Alright, let's go to uh, 1 John 5 and 11. First 
John 5 and 11. 5 and 11 through 13. Believe, beloved, if God so loved us, who he loved? Israel. He always said he loved Israel. Not the heathen. We ought also to love one another. Israel. Southern and northern kingdom. We should love one another. Man, that's what it's about. All right. No man have seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us and his love is perfected in us. Because God is love, man. Hereby know we that we dwell in him and he in us because he have given us of his spirit. All right. And we have seen and do testify that the father sent to be the savior, sent the son to be the savior of the world, the world of Israel. Isaiah 45 verse 17, John 3, 16. Hey, whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him, and he in God. That's how the Bible says, uh, I believe that's in Romans. He said, um, for, for confession leads unto salvation. So what the things we co confess out of our mouth, that's why we got to be careful. We confess things like Jesus Christ or, or Yeshua is the way, the truth, and the life. The Father raised him up from the dead. That's salvation right there. You're saved. That's grace and mercy, man. So let's go to... He and us, so, all right, so let's go to, let's go to Luke 11 and 28, Luke. Luke 11 and 28, but he said, yeah, rather bless our day that here, how do you hear? Faith come by what? Hear it of the word of God. That hear the word of God and keep it. All right? You got to hear it and keep it. Stay fast with what you know. Let's go to Acts 6 and 7. Acts 6 verse 7. And the word of God increased. Alright. And the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly. And a great company of the priests were obedient to the faith. Alright. Because the word of God increased. They was obedient to the faith. How they became obedient to the faith? By hearing the word of God. They heard it and believed. That's how they believed. Alright. Let's go to Romans 10 and 8. Romans 10 verse 8. But what saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith. Okay? Word of faith which we preach. Mm. He said it's all is in thy mouth. How how is that? Let, let's get a precept real quick. Let's go to Isaiah fifty nine verse twenty four. Oh, verse 21, Salakia. As for me, this is my covenant with them, who? The twelve tribes of Israel, saith the Lord, my spirit that is upon thee, and my words which I have put in thy mouth. See, it always been in us. It's in our DNA. It's everywhere in us, man. All right? It's always have been in us. It never left us. The Most High Spirit never left us, and his spirit Never, uh, and his word never departed out of our, out of our mouth. I have put in thy mouth, right? Shall not, it's like, you know, which I have put in thy mouth, shall not depart out of thy mouth, your mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, seed, saith the Lord from henceforth and forever. It always been here. Let's go to Joshua real quick. Let's go to Joshua 1 and 8. It always been here, Zion. The Lord never left us, man. He always been with us. 1 verse 8. This book of the Lord shall not depart out of thy mouth. The Lord is in us, man. Out of thy mouth. But thou shalt meditate there, therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then shalt thou make thy ways prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. We keep the word. We keep the Lord through Mashiach, man. We got to believe. We got to hear. We got to have the faith. All right, video coming up very soon, uh, Zion, on that. Let's go to Romans 10, verse 17.
And it's in first, this is how you get faith. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. You see that? So let's read that again, Zion. So then faith, all right, because anybody can say, I have faith. Oh, I have faith. The heathens can even say they have faith. So do they truly have faith? If you have faith, heathens, Gentiles, then you will believe everything in this in this book. All right. Every little detail. All right. Every little thing. You would believe this. You would even believe this if you if you had the spirit. You will, you would believe this right here. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have great heaviness and continuous sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ for my brethren and my kinsmen according to the flesh. Because why? He was an Israelite. All right. Paul was from the tribe of Benjamin. He was a Jew who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law. The most high only made himself known to Israel, the 12 tribes. He only made himself gave his law and covenants to the Israelites, not the heathen and the service of God and the promises. The promises all goes to Elo, um, to Yeshua. So this is how you have faith, um, Gentiles. If you're listening, this is how you have faith. Who are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh, Christ came, who was over all. God bless forever. Um, forever. Amen. Christ came according to the flesh. Right? He came for the fleshly Israelites. I'm talking about the Israelites that look like Israelites. He came for them, but not the ones that live in the flesh. That's why he says down here. That's why when y'all see this Gentiles, y'all stumble. Not as though the word of God have taken an effect for they are all not uh, for they are not all Israel, which are Israel. So they say, see, told you, see, listen to this. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. That is they which are the children of the flesh. These are not the children of God, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. All right. So this is for the seed of promise through faith. OK, not living in the lust of your flesh. You're not Israelites. You can look like an Israelite, but you're not going to be an Israelite if you're living in your flesh. So that's what it's talking about. It's not saying why would it contradict and say here that Christ came according to the flesh. Christ came. Yes, he came according to the flesh. Right. According to the concern of the flesh, Christ came. Right. This says all Israel, not Israel. It's talking about the Israelites that live in lust and sin and pride of the world, which is not of the father. They are not Israel. Let's prove that because let's go to Hebrews. Uh, I believe it's Hebrews. Mm, let me see. Bear with me, Zion. I think it's here. That's for the people. So I need the high priest. Nope, it's not this. I think it's over here. Bear with me, Zion. Let's read this. This is what Christ did when he came in the flesh. For verily he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. Okay? He, he was made to look like his people. Christ was made to look like Israel. Negroids. Negroid people. Wherefore in all things it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren. Who was his brethren? The twelve tribes of Israel. Alright? That he might be merciful. Be a merciful and faithful high priest and things pertaining to God to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. 
for the sins of who? The 12 tribes of Israel. He reconciled them together. He slain the enmity on the tree. All right. He brought us back in love and through one spirit, one access, one spirit to the father. Not the heathen Gentiles. It had nothing to do with them. The Gentiles in the Bible in the New Testament is the lost Israelites of the 10 tribes of Ephraim. All right. So he, he, he wanted to be made like his brethren. All right. He looked just like his people, man. That's why when you go here to Matthew 1 verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, or Yeshua. For he shall save his people from their sins. His people from their sins. Who is his people? Wasn't he made in the seed of David? He, wasn't he made from the seed of David? The book of the generation of Yeshua Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Hmm. Son of David and the son of Abraham. He's made just like his brethren. All right, let's go here. Let's go here. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call in the name of the Lord shall be saved. Is it talking about the whole world? Ye men of Israel hear these words, not heathens. Ye men of Israel hear these words. Yeshua of Nazareth, a man proved of God among you because the, uh, Christ was among the Jews. He did not leave Jerusalem or the region. He stayed amongst the Jews by miracles, wonders, and signs, which God did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. All right, let's go here. Ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant which God made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, And in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. How? Unto you first, God, um, how are they going to be blessed? Because Israel is in all nations. Unto you first, God, having raised up his son Yeshua, unto you first, sent him to bless you and turning away every one of you from his iniquities. All right? So the most I sent uh, Yeshua to the Jews first, man. Sent them to the Jews first. So that Ephraim might not boast against them, right? Let's go here. Right here, let's go to Zechariah 12, verse 7. The Lord shall save the tents of Judah first. That the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah. So they won't boast. All right. That's what Christ said. What? Salvation is of the Jews um, to the woman of Samaria. Your salvation, Ephraim, is of the Jews. They, some rejected Christ and salvation came there. God grafted the ten tribes of Ephraim back into the olive tree. That's what it was all about. Okay. That's what it was all about. Let's go to... Let's go to Ezekiel 37, the valley of the dry bones, right? Let's go down. More, moreover, I will make it a covenant of peace with them. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them. The 12 tribes of Israel I will place in them and multiply them and will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forevermore. My tabernacle also shall be with them. Yeah, I will be their God and they shall be my people. And the heathen shall know that I, the Lord, do sanctify Israel, when my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forevermore. But let's go here. Two kingdoms becoming one, the southern and northern kingdom. And say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of God, Behold, I will take the children of, of Israel from among the heathen, the ten tribes of Ephraim, whither they be gone, and will gather them on every side, and bring them to their own land. Uh-oh. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel. And one king shall be king to them all. Why would the, if they was already one nation, why would the Most High make them one nation again? It's because the twelve tribes' kingdom was split into two nations and two kingdoms: the southern and the northern kingdom. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, and the ten tribes of Ephraim. Right, and they shall be no more two nations. That's why they had enmity. They was fighting against each other. They hated. They didn't like each other. Just read when Benjamin in the Old Testament almost got exterminated by the, the house of Israel, man. They had to get some Canaanite women to uh, repopulate the tribe of Benjamin. 
neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all. Neither shall they defile themselves anymore with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of all their dwelling places, wherein they have sinned, and will cleanse them. So shall they be my people, I will be their God. See, and David my servant. David my servant. David is, is in the ground. Right? David is buried. The most I told him. Oh, Mashiach, he would give him the sure mercies of David. He would keep his king, David, uh, David's kingdom going. Shall be king over them. They shall have one shepherd, which is Mashiach. They shall also walk in my judgment, observe my statutes, and do them. And they shall dwell in the land that I have given unto Jacob, my servant, wherein your fathers have dwelt. And they shall dwell therein, even they and their children, and their children's children forever. Just like he said, the word never left us. And his spirit, Isaiah 59, verse 21. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. Prince of peace is a Mashiach. He's going to keep his kingdom going. Right? So, let's go to, I think it's, I know I went off real quick. I just wanted to show y'all something. All right? Yes. That's why he said, they said here, then said the Jews among themselves, whither will he go that we should not find him? Will he go into the dispersed, the dispersed where? Among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? They already knew the Jews, knew the ten tribes of Ephraim were called Gentiles. The dispersed, right? The dispersed. James, the servant of Elohim and of the Lord Yeshua Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, uh, dispersed, scattered abroad to all nations. All right, they thought Christ was going there, but he used Peter of uh, Paul and them to, to go preach to the ten tribes. Um, that was wrong. Here we go. Verse 48. And if we let us alone, leave him alone, all men will believe on him. And the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation. The Jews were scared. All right. And one of them named C.F. is being the high priest that same year said unto them, ye know nothing at all. Nor consider that it is expedient for us that one man should die for the people. What people? The twelve tribes of Israel. And that the whole nation perish not. All right? And this spake he not of himself, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Yeshua should die for that nation. The nation of the Jews. And not for that nation only, is it for the heathen? But that also he shall gather together in one. The children of God that were scattered abroad. All right. So that knocks all the John 3, 16 and all. There's neither Jew nor Greek because Christ died for the kingdom of the Jews and the kingdom of Ephraim. All right. He gathered together in one like the dry bones in Ezekiel 37, which I just read. Okay. Now let's go to, let's get back to what we was doing. I just wanted to put that out there, Zion. Don't be deceived in these last days. Study, study, study the most high's word. It's not about who knows more scriptures and who's better. That, that's nothing. All right. 
don't boast in any of that. Always be humble and meek and allow the Lord to continue to give you wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Be humble. All right. So people out here that has uh, knowledge of the scriptures and know a lot and can quote scriptures and do that. They like to uh, boast and they want the glory of man. You see, some of them want men to worship them. Be like, oh, I know all of this. I know it. Come worship me. Oh, I got the right answer. See, that's what these ABC camps do, man. They, they sit up in there acting like they're deacons and, and all of that. But they're wicked as hell, man. All right? And they quoting scriptures and saying this and that. Watch out, Zion. All right? Our people are devils, man. Some of our people are devils in the flesh. And they out here acting like... uh. uh Servants of righteousness. That's why I, I tell. That's why I tell my subscribers and, and you, Israel, don't even believe me, man. Go back into the scriptures and seek, and seek what the things I'm saying is true. That's how deep it is, Zion. That's how real it is in these last days. Okay. Um. Let's go to First Peter, one verse twenty three. Peter 1 verse 23. Being born again, not of corruptible seed. Alright? When Nicodemus in John 3 16, went in the book of John 3, he asked him, How can you be born again? Can you enter the womb of your mother a second time? Nah. You'll just be, be you it's a, you can't do that. Alright? Being born again, not of corruptible seed, because the flesh is is, is uh, corruptible, the flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing. But of incorruptible by the word of God. So the incorruptible by the word of God was living in the bite of forever. So to all you people and uh, all you people are big Judah and all you liars, man. Talking about the Bible is tampered with and all that stuff. You know, you, uh, you're going to have to pay by the most high. Because the most high word is incorruptible and his word liveth forever. He even says it in the Old Testament. Right? His word live forever. It's, his word is incorruptible. It cannot be corrupted. All right, his word is pure. All right, that just giving y'all some trying to deceive Israel to make you think. Oh, now you think oh the Bible is tampered with and it's not the word of God. Go into these other books. All right, seek higher knowledge. The Bible tells you about that. Be careful going into other books. All right, it's weary to the soul, man. You'll just keep. It's a, it's another end. It's it's no end with um. Searching a lot of books and a lot of books. You'll just be searching forever, man. But with the word of the most high here, you got the answers right here. All right. But like I said, I'm not against going into other books. I'm just saying, be careful, Zion. Be careful. If it's not adding up, don't use it. Let's go to Psalm 119 verse 9. Psalm 119 verse 9 Psalm 119 verse 9 Wherewith shall a young man cleanse his way By taking heed thereto according to thy word Alright, why do you think the most high in the Hamashiach keeps saying Hear my word, he that believeth on my word Because the word is spirit and life and it is living water It is strong Zion, it is incorruptible. This word is the most highest word. It has not been tampered with. Don't believe people. Don't believe people. Trust in the most high. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the most high. And the Machiach came out of the mouth of the most high. He is the word of him. All right, so we believe on the most highest word. That's what we must do. We must have faith like our forefathers did in the wilderness, Zion. You see what happened to them. All right. Let's let's learn from our forefathers mistake. Let's not make the same mistakes. 
All right. Taking heed according to thy word. We have to listen to every word out of here, Zion. Every word. All right. Let's go to. Let's go to John 15, verse 3. Now ye are clean. Hold on. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken to you. Look at that sign. Okay, now you are clean. Because why? Christ said these words I speak unto you are spirit and life. These words I speak unto you are spirit and they are life, Zion. Alright, that's what we must understand. That's how you be cleansed. Through the washing of the word. Zion for one minute. Okay. Let's, let's go to hearing the word. All right. Let's go to Ezekiel thirty six. Ezekiel 36, verse 25 through 33. All right. 25 through 33. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean. What is that? The word of the Most High. From all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart of your flesh, and I will give you an heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my statutes. Alright? And ye shall keep my judgments and do them. Remember the spirit and the, the, the word always been here. Alright? So the word was always been in our mouths. Alright? And, and do them and ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers and ye shall be my people and I will be your God. I will also save you from all your uncleanness and I will call for the corn and will increase it. All right. This is the return of our captivity, Zion, and lay no famine upon you. And I will multiply the fruit of the tree and the increase of the field that ye shall receive no more reproach of famine. All right. We are reproach among the heathens already. All right, reproach of famine among the heathen. We always pour and all that, right? But that's not going to happen no more. Then shall you remember your own evil. Uh, then shall you remember your own evil ways and your doings that were not good, and shall loaf yourselves in your own sight. See that for your iniquities and for your abominations. Not for your sakes do I do this. All right? Remember, the Lord is not bringing us back in the land Zion. Take this and listen and, and, and hold it into your mind and your heart. The Lord is not doing this for our righteousness because we still wicked. Right? The Lord is doing it because we profane in his holy name amongst the heathen. Alright, so he's gonna fight for his name. So don't think that you're righteous, Zion. We only righteous do Hamashiach. That's the only way. But it's not of our own works. So remember that. 
Not for your sakes do I do this, saith the Lord God. Be it known unto you. Be ashamed and confounded for your own ways, O house of Israel. He want us to learn, you know, not to play around. It's not a joke. All right? It's not a joke at all. Thus said the Lord God, in the day that I shall have cleansed you from all your iniquity sins, I will also cause you to dwell in the cities and the waste shall be builded. All right? The city is going to be built by these heathens, man. Um, let's go to 1 Corinthians 6 and 11. All right, this is how we're going to be cleansed as I am. This is, I want you to see how powerful the word of God is, man. All right, it's very, very powerful, man. And such were some of you, but ye are washed. Okay, ye are washed. Hold on, let me. Uh, okay, ye are washed, but ye are. Sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. It's the only way we sanctify and justify, man. We're righteous in the sight of the Most High through His Son. All right, He see us cleansed through His Son. That's why we have to walk in the ways of the of of a Mashiach, man. Be blameless, no guile in our mouth, faultless, man, and righteous through our Lord and Savior Yeshua, a Mashiach. All right, because through Him we have access back through the Father. And the Father don't sit, don't have wrath upon us anymore, man. All right, it's the free gift of God that He given to the Southern and Northern Kingdom of Israel because He loves us, man. He loves us so much. We are the apple of of the Most High, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Eyes, man. All right, and the heathen gonna pay dearly for doing this to us. It, it, the Bible says, "All this woe unto them that have you in their hand, man." We scattered to all nations, so all nations are gonna get punished. They got they got a hold of us all, man. So they all gonna get punished, man, by the most high. So you don't play with the most high's people, man. That's one thing. See what happened to um to Ramses and them in, in the first Exodus, to Pharaoh and them in, in Egypt, man. The Lord wasn't playing. He made Aaron and Moses look like gods in front of Pharaoh. And he's gonna do the same thing. When he comes back, man, and his son, Hamashiach. All right, let's go to um, let's go to Ephesians five and twenty five. All right, so Ephesians. 5 verse 25 through 26. So it says, Husband, love your wives, even as Christ hath also loved the church. That's right. And gave himself for it, that he might sanctify, listen, listen, listen good, Israel, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. All right. You see how powerful the word of Elohim is? That's why Christ told Nicodemus, you have to be born again of spirit. All right? A, a spirit and, and, and water. What is the spirit? The word. What is the water? The word. You have to be born again of incorruptible by the word of God. That's how you be born again, Zion. All right? And the Holy Spirit is not a feminine spirit. That's why John said, I baptize you with water, but he that cometh after me is mightier than me. He was before me, whose shoes I am unworthy to unlatch. He shall baptize you with fire in the Holy Ghost. All right? Through the word. That's what it's about. These words are speaking to your spirit and life. Take heed, Israel. Take heed that you may live and not perish. Trust in the Most High and His Son. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 11 and 4.
2 Corinthians 11 and 4. For if he that cometh preacheth another Yeshua, right, which these false Hebrews that's on YouTube, all right, preaching this new Yeshua with new doctrine, strange doctrine, talking about the Holy Spirit is feminine, whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit, which ye have not received, or another gospel, all right, these people are preaching another gospel. And it's not the Yeshua that sit in the heavens on the right hand of his father. All right. It's not the Holy Hamashiach from the seed of David. They're preaching an antichrist, a false Christ, which he have not accepted. You never accepted this stuff before. Ye might well bear with him. Hmm. All right. That's why you got to be careful. Don't listen to everybody, seek the scriptures daily to see if these things are true. Don't let them get you with, oh, the word been changed, this word been changed, the Bible been changed. Don't fall for it, Zion. We are not new to Satan devices and his schemes and, and, and his craftiness. We we know it all, man, through Hamashiach. He can't deceive the ones that's already uh that, that the Father is working through. So stay strong. Christ said, hold fast. He's coming. Hold fast to what you know. Don't let it go. Over no new doctrine or a new gospel or a new Christ. Don't listen to it. All right, let's go to Galatians 1 and 6. One and six to nine. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ into another gospel. All right, Zion. That's 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 followers of of these people that's preaching another gospel and another Hamashiach. All right, you are removed from the true gospel. Don't let that wicked one get you. Which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and will pervert the gospel of Christ. That's what they're doing. But through we, but though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you, that then uh, which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. Let him be accursed. As we said before. So say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you that uh, you then that ye receive, ye have received, Salakia, let them be accursed. All right. Don't listen to these deceivers, man. These deceivers is out here to hunt you down, Zion. All right. The war is against Israel. Satan don't care about the Gentiles. He already deceived them. All right. He already deceived the whole world of the Gentiles. They've been under his control. They just don't know it. But the real battle is the uh, Hashatan don't like Israel, man. And he's after Israel. That's the truth. He put up this veil of God so loved the world and he's their God and Christ died for everybody to blind everyone. All right. We was once blinded, Israel. But the father of light that sit in the heavens, man, he opened our eyes up to, to the lies and the deception. So don't fall for it, Zion. Stay strong in the faith, man. Hold to what you know. Hold to what you know, Zion. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 11 and 3. I'm telling you, man. It's going to be... This ain't nothing yet. It's going to be worse than this, man. Besides the one is that Satan going to come with, man. If it was possible to deceive the elect of Elohim, that's how strong it's going to be. But we are the, the ones that already know we got to pray and hope we are the elect, man, and hope that the Lord um, protect us from these things, man. Second Corinthians 11, verse 3. But I fear, lest by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve 
All right, he beguiled the eye, he deceived her. Eve, through his subtlety and his craftiness, man, his deception. So your mind should be corrupted. Because that's what happens when you listen to these false uh, um, prophets, man, which they're not even prophets. To be a prophet, number one, you have to, uh, the Lord has to be working with you and giving you visions and you be prophesying and stuff like that. If you're not doing none of that, you ain't no prophet, man. All right? I don't call myself a prophet. I call myself a servant of the Lord. All right, I'm a servant. I'll be. I'm happy to be a servant, man, than to be nothing. Be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. You gotta understand, man. The deception is going to be huge, Zion. It's going to be huge. See, this is the point here. I got another video coming up about the, the uh, 144,000 versions. Are they actually real versions? All right. But I'm, I'm going to save that. I'm going to show you something. Uh, for if he that cometh preacheth another Yeshua... Whom we have not preached, or if you receive another spirit which you have not received, or another gospel, all right, I'm, I'm just reading again, Zion, or another gospel which you have not accepted, you might well bear with him, all right. So, you must understand these deceptions is going to come, they're going to come heavy, Zion, and we got to be prepared. We have to put on the full armor of Elohim and the sword of the spirit, man, and cut these devils up in the spirit. With his word, man. His word is a two-edged sword. All right? These demons, they hate the word of the Most High. They despise his law, him and his son and his people. The Gentiles, man. They are not your friends. They are your enemies. You must understand that, number one, that the Gentiles are not your friends. They are your enemies. Now, you, now to say, you probably got some humble Gentiles that's out there. Is going to seek after the righteousness of the Lord and believe upon his word. Yes, because the Most High is going to spare them. Those ones that humble themselves and not boast it up in pride and arrogance and accept their position that they always was meant to be servants to Israel. That's why he created them. All right. He created them to be servants for us. This is in the law, man. It's in Leviticus 25. Read it. They are our handmaids and servants, our bondmen forever. All right, they're not going to understand this right now, Zion. So you have to let the Lord deal with that when He comes. They're going to see that they've been deceived by their God, Satan. All right, who the Lord set over them, that King He set over them. When they when they sacrificed to idols and the moon and all that stuff, what do you think they were sacrificing to? Satan, man. They were sacrificing to devils. That's what the Lord didn't want us mixing with them. He, they was unclean. They, he didn't want us mixing our holy seed with them, which we did. Our forefathers was hard-headed and stiff-necked. And he didn't want us worshiping their gods, man. Because he already knew they, they was worshiping demons, man. And since we wanted to be amongst them so much, the Lord scattered us amongst them, man. But it's going to be a time when the Lord be jealous for his holy name, man. And he's going to come back and return our captivity, not for our uh, purpose, but for his. Because he's sick and tired of us uh, uh, profaning his name amongst the heathen, man. He's all about the vision, not about coming together. He only wants his people to stay together. Because we are holy people unto the Lord, thy Elohim. All right? And, and the heathens, they're going back to their regular position. They're not going to be the head anymore over his people. They're going back to be in the tell. They're going to be servants and handmaids in the kingdom. Isaiah 14, verse 1 and 2. Whether they like it or not, he that leadeth in the captivity must go into captivity. Christ is going to rule them with a rod of iron. All right? And he's going to allow us to rule over them in the kingdom. They're going to be serving us. Whether they like it or not. That's what Paul said. What? Who is the, who is you to reply us against uh, replies against God, man? Who is any man to stand up and say, God, why you do this? Why you do that? The Lord said, My ways is not like your ways. 
All right. His mind is totally beyond your comprehension, man. So you will never understand. All right. So that's what we must do, Zion. Let's go to, let me see. Let's go to 1 John 4 and 1. First John four and one. Beloved, believe not every spirit. Why do you think all the prophets talk to us and, and preach us about false prophets? Because all of them knew that false Christ and false prophets would rise up to deceive Israel. They already knew that they was gonna set up religion in the church and this white Jesus and this false God of a, a white God. He already knew, they already knew that, man. The Most High already, man, you gotta understand, man. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, test them, whether they are of God. What Christ said, you know them by their fruits, man. And these people that's, that's preaching the Holy Spirit is feminine spirit, their fruits is bad, and they can never produce good fruit, all right? They are demonic entities, man. And they are the uh, deceivers, and they're gonna pay with their life when Hamashiach return, man. Try the spirits whether they are of Elohim, because many false prophets are going out into the world, all right? Just like that Antichrist spirit is already in this world, man. It's already here, all right? Ye are of God, that's right. The elect of Israel is Sharala. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them. That's right. We hope we overcome these false prophets and these false deceivers by staying hold to the fast of the word of the most high, by having faith and believing on every word in this Bible, man. And we don't switch our gospel and doctrines. We stick with it to the end, man. Because greater is he that is in you. That's right. That he that is in the world. Greater they are of the world, therefore speak they of the world and the world hear of them. We are of God. He that know of God heareth us. See that? If you are of God, you hear this word and your spirit bear witness with this word because it is spirit and life. And the Lord bear witness with us, man. And we know we are the sons of Elohim. He that is not of God heareth us not. So when you start not hearing this word anymore, man, you start falling away into strange doctrines and gospels, man. The wicked one got you. Hereby know we the spirit of truth, man. The spirit of truth is the Holy Spirit, man. And the spirit of error. The spirit of error is the Hashatan who try to come in righteousness. All right? He's a, he's a devil and a deceiver, man. He's going to be cast into the lake of fire with, um, and, his, uh, and his holy angels, man, and all people that follow his lies. That's why you got to be careful, man. Test the spirits. A lot of people think God is giving them things in their life, and that's going to be Satan, man. Oh, I just got a new house, a new car, man. God don't care about that stuff. He knows what you really need and what you really want, the raiment and, 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 and uh, food for your belly and this word, man. He knows the things that you need, you truly need. Oh, he just gave me a million dollars and this and that. Man, that's not of Elohim, man. The pride and the lust and the things of this world is of the world. And this world lies in the wicked one, Hashatan. Okay, so let's go to Second Peter's two. Second Peter's Second Peter two verse one. Second Peter two verse one. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privately shall bring in damnable heresies, man, even denying the Lord that bought them. And bring upon themselves with destruction. That's what's going to happen to these people, man. All this east was the white man doctrine and that force 12 chart, tribe chart and heathens is Israelites and, and the Holy Spirit is a, a feminine spirit and such and such. All these heresy doctrines and they're going to bring destruction upon themselves, man. And you don't want to be a part of that, Zion. When the Lord bring judgment upon these, these wicked people, man. Alright, because the, the Lord ain't going to have pity then. He's going to 
he gonna um he gonna put them to death, man, for 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 making up these false doctrines. You see what I'm saying? So you gotta be very careful, Zion. Very very careful. They out here, man. I'm telling you, man. See that? And many shall follow their Phoenicia's ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. You see? The, the way of truth, man. People speak evil against them. They're saying, we the evil ones, man. You see what I'm saying? They going to, everything is switched around in these end times, man. You speaking this truth, they're going to say you evil and you got devils in you, man. All right, and they're going to say their way is the way. All right, and we know their way is not the way because it don't add up to the word of the most high. So this is how you can distinguish them. Test the spirits, know them by their fruits, man. A bad tree cannot produce good fruits and a good tree cannot produce bad fruits. All right, so that tells you these brothers was never a part of us. All right, they went out from among us, but they were not from. They was not a part of us, man. If they were, they would have stuck with the doctrine, with the with the with the uh, spirit of truth, with the way of truth, with the gospel of truth, man. So we gotta be very careful, man. Let's go to Second Corinthians eleven verse thirteen. Second Corinthians eleven, verse thirteen and fifteen. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Hamashiach. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. You see that? See how the deception can be? All right. Therefore, you can have devils in your family, man, and don't even know it, man. That's why you got to be careful, man. You got to test everybody, man. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers, man, these false prophets, false devils out here, also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness. That's deep. Whose end shall be according to their works. That's why, because everything that Satan do that he did, man, he's going to pay for every inch and drip of it. Every inch and drip of it, man. Deception is real, man. That's that deep. That's deep. Let's go to Luke 21 and 8. And he said, Take heed that ye be not deceived, Israel. For many shall come in my name. That's right. You don't have how to count some person come in his name. Not only saying that they're Christ, but also speaking these false doctrines, saying, oh, Christ said this, and Christ said that, and Christ said this. Listen, listen to this. It's in this book. It's in that book. Saying, I am Christ, and the time draweth near, go ye not, therefore after them. Don't go after them, Zion. Flee from them. Flee from the devil, man. Resist the devil, and he shall flee from you. Don't listen to them, Zion. These people... I would tell you, unsubscribe from these people, man. Don't let the devil into your life. The war is on you. It's not against the Gentiles. All right? They want to keep Israel in darkness. All right? They don't want us to wake up and know because they know the Most High will come back and destroy them. And they fear that. The powers that be and the Rothschilds and the Masons and the Illuminati, they are devils, man. And fleshly body. We ain't wrestling against the flesh. This stuff goes beyond, man. Uh, uh, principalities of demons, man, is in these people, man. You see how, uh, how Mashiach was casting demons out of people, man. He cast legions out, all right? This stuff is real. It's not a joke, man. It's not a joke at all. Let's go to Matthew 7 and 15. Mm. 
beware of false prophets. It's all through the whole Bible, man. Because they let you know false prophets is everywhere. They've always been in the world. Which come to you in sheep's clothing. Oh, that's right. Ministers of righteousness. But inwardly, they are ravening wolves, man. All right? Just like that other guy. I think his name is Joshua or something or something like that. He over there. You got women claiming he's Christ, man. He's over there dancing with money on the stage and all this. Uh, uh, doing all type of fighting moves. Acting like he casting out demons, man. Man, that's a devil, man. That's a devil in the flesh, man. He knows exactly what he's doing. All right? Because they time running out. So they, they just doing anything, man. It don't matter. They got the, the, the worst punishment, damnation in the lake of fire. So they going all out. Don't follow these people, man. You shall know them by their fruits. You shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? That no. Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit; it's impossible. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. All right, the vine and the root is how it's produced, man. So whatever it is, it's going to bring forth that. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. That's right. These wicked devils are going to be cast into the fire, man, for their for their heresies, their false uh, doctrines and gospels and stuff, man, and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them, man. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's right. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. All right. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name doth done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. That right there, man, is going to hurt, man. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity, all your lying doctrines and giving away your, your, your heritage, Israel. This is for you, man. That's what we got to get right, man. And we got to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. We got to be, we got to hope we are worthy enough to stand before the son of man, man, before the lamb. And hope that he, he, uh. You know, give us that crown of life, man, and we are worthy of him. Because if you're not, man, you have to stay in his word and be born again through this word, man. All right, the deception is real out here, Zion. All right, let's go to uh, let's go to Revelations twenty-two and eighteen. I'm going to show you some things before I get up out of here. Revelations 22, verse 18 and 19. All right. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things. All right. Adding, adding, adding. Saying this is not true. That is not true. All right. And adding other things. God shall add unto him the plagues, man, that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. All right. The Lord ain't playing, man. Let's go to 2 Timothy 3, verse 15. We have to study and study hours and hours, meditate on his word day and night, Zion. Second Timothy three and fifteen. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures. Alright? And that from a child thou that thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Hamashiach. You see that? All scriptures given by inspiration of Elohim is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. 
that the man of Elohim may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all, all good works. You see what I'm saying? This word is perfect, man. It's pure, it's holy, it's incorruptible. Don't listen to man. Trust in the most high word right here. Trust in his words that's on this book and on this paper. All right. Trust in it. All right. How do we know? As a child, we knew the Holy Scriptures. How? Because the most high word always been in us. That's why I said it. That's why I read you Isaiah 59 verse 21. His spirit and his word is in our mouth. It never departed out of our mouth or out of our forefathers' seed, seed mouth, all the way into us. It's always been within us, Israel. We know the Father of lights. The heathen don't know them, don't know him. All right, let's go to 2 Thessalonians 2, verse 15. Don't get caught up, Zion. Tell you, man, the seasons is out here. I think that's the longest. Two first, two verse fifteen. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which ye have been taught, whether by word or epistle letter. All right. Our people say, oh, man, this is written on this book, man. They ain't have books in the days and this. Remember, it's not about what the book is on, man. It's about the words, whether by word or epistle. All right. So let's go to. Let's go to first Thessalonians five and twenty one. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. And what you know is good. Alright. What you know is good. The doctrine. The, 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 the gospel that you have now Zion. Is good. Everything that you believe out of this Bible is good. Don't let man take that away from you. Don't let man take that crown away from you. Let's go to 1 Peter 1 verse 25. 1 verse 25. But the word of the Lord endureth forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. So everything in this gospel and his words and his Bible is the word of Elohim. And it's been preached to the Israelites, not Gentiles. All right, so let's go to Second Corinthians. 10 verse 5. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. All right. Second Corinthians. So all these strongholds and all these false doctrines, right? For the weapon of our warfare are not carnal, right? It's not about guns and bombs and stuff like that, but mighty through God to pulling down of strongholds, man. He's pulling out, he's pulled down those strongholds in the, in the demonic realm, man, in the spirit world, man. All right. The Lord is our weapon. Okay. He bring down all these lies, man. 
verse 6, and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience, when your obedience is fulfilled, Let's go to 1 Corinthians 15, verse 1 through 4. 1 through 4. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved. All right? We are saved by these words, their spirit and their life. All right? So when you give up your... your the, the uh the gospel that you know you just condemning yourself if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you unless ye have believed in vain for I deliver unto you first all of that which I also receive how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures what do we mean by our sins like I showed you I showed you he died for our sins the twelve tribes of Israel not the world. And that he was seen, uh, uh, slocking, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to scripture. That's right. And when you confess that, that he rose from the dead, the Father raised him up, you are saved, man. Because salvation, uh, confession leads into salvation. All right. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 14 and 33. For God is not the author of confusion, man, but of peace. Just like he said he wants peace for Israel. His mind is nothing but peace for Israel. That's all he wants. But of peace, as in all churches of the saints. The saints is only Israel. The elect is only Israel. All right? The church is only Israel. All of this is Israel. Let's go to Matthew 12, verse 31. We almost up out of here, Zion. Matthew 12, verse 31. 12, verse uh, 31 through 32. Make a little clear. Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men. But the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. And whosoever speak of a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. And whosoever speak of against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven of him. Neither in this world, neither in the world to come. All right. When those those uh, Jews was telling Christ that he cast out demons and the prince of demons and Bezalbub. They already blasphemed the Holy Spirit because the Mashiach had his Holy Spirit from birth. All right? He already had the Holy Spirit. So they blasphemed and condemned itself. They ain't going to be in the kingdom, man. That's why when you when people talk about Christ, man, and say this and say this, you got to understand, man. You blaspheme in the Holy Spirit. You got to be careful, man. When you blaspheme the Holy Spirit, you 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 done. You done, man. There ain't no saving you in this life or the next life. All right? It's over for you. All right? And that's what our brothers did, did by teaching this doctrine of the Holy Spirit is feminine. That's a lie, man. And these brothers is going to pay it in the lake of fire, man, through the word. Not of me, not of my word, but what the scriptures just say, man. If you never forgiven, where do you think you're going? To the lake of fire. All right, so people come on my comment board saying, "Oh, yo, man, you can't condemn me. You ain't, you ain't nobody, man. God can only condemn me. That's right. I agree. And His Word, I'm telling you what His Word says. His Word says, if you blaspheme the Holy Spirit, it's over for you. So it's not of my word; it's of the Most High Word. All right, let's go to Mark three and twenty eight. Verse 28 and 29. 
Verily I say unto you, all sins shall be forgiven unto the sons of men. All right. And blasphemies wherewith soever they shall blaspheme. But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Ghost have never forgiveness. All right. It's a clearer precept of understanding. Holy Ghost have never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation. You see? So I'm not condemning you. The most high is. The most high said you going there. I ain't saying you going to the lake of fire. I'm just reading what the most high says. All right. Let's go to um All right, we're gonna prove Christ out the Holy Spirit and everything, man. That's why those brothers in Christ's time when he said he had devils in them and the prince of devils and he cast uh demons out through Satan and stuff, man. They already condemned themselves. They blasphemed the Holy Spirit, man. That's why Christ said, Be careful what comes you the Father Temple which which is uh Cut the things that come out your mouth, not what goes in. All right, and we have we are the temple of Elohim, Israel. We are the true temple. Our body and and the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost dwells in us. So when we commit fornication and do all this crazy stuff, man, we sinning against the body that we was brought at a price. It's not ours; it's Elohim's. He brought us with a price with His blood. So we sinning, and He's going to destroy us, man. If we destroy His body, His temple. But that's for another lesson I'm gonna get into. Let's go to Jeremiah um, Mark three and thirty. Let's prove Christ had the Holy Spirit in him, man. All right, I'm gonna show you something. All right, because they said he have an unclean spirit. All right, so they said Christ had an unclean spirit because he was doing all these miracles, man. Not even though they could dim in themselves. Let's go to Luke 1 and 35. Luke 1 and 35. And the angel answered and said unto her, the Holy Ghost. Shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore, also that holy thing, all right, which shall be born of thee, shall be called the Son of God. All right, so you see here, the Holy Ghost shall come upon Mary, right, and 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 the power of the highest shall overshadow her, right. Therefore, also that holy thing. The uh, Hamashiach was holy, man, he, through the Holy Spirit, man. He had the Holy Spirit. That's why John said, he that cometh after me was preferred before me. He shall baptize you with fire and the Holy Ghost. Um, let's go to Matthew 1 and 18. Let's prove more. Matthew 1 verse 18. Now the birth of Yeshua HaMashiach was on this wise when as his mother Mary was a spouse to Joseph. Um, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. All right. It's like he just said in Luke. Let's go to Luke 7 and 33. Let's see what they said about John the Baptist. Luke 7, verse 33. For John the Baptist came neither eating bread nor drinking wine. All right? But Christ did. And ye say he have a devil? The Son of Man is come eating and drinking. Ye say, behold, a gluttonous man and a wine bibber, a friend of publicans and sinners. Because they didn't understand. So they even said John had the devil in them, man. And what you think happened to them? They condemned themselves because John was already born with the Holy Spirit, man. Alright? 
He was already born with the Holy Spirit. Let's go there. Let's go to Luke 1 and 15. Why well, you gotta be very careful what you say, Zion. You will regret it, man. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. Alright, and many of the children of Israel, why is this talking about Israel in the New Testament? The children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their God. Alright, because the New and the Old Testament is both for Israel, it's not for Gentiles. You have to understand the Old Torah, the Old Testament to understand the New, that it was talking about Israel, that they were split. Into two kingdoms, two nations. All right, so let's go to uh, where we gonna go to Matthew twelve and twenty four. Matthew twelve and twenty four. We almost out of here, Zion. Twelve and twenty-four. But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, "This fellow does not cast out devils, but by Beelzebub, the prince of devils." Wow. So they said Hamashiach was casting out devils by the. Uh, they said he was casting out. Uh, uh, these things by by Bezubub, the prince of devils. Mm. So he was saying that he had Satan in him, man. That's deep. That's real deep, man. All right. So we gotta be careful. Let's go to Mark three and twenty two. They already condemned themselves, man. Mark 3 and 22. And the scribes which came down from Jerusalem said he hath bezelbub. And by the prince of the devils cast he out devils. Wow. So they were saying Satan was divided against himself. All right. If he divided against himself, his kingdom will fall, man. Christ never had no devil in him. He had the Holy Spirit from Elohim. These, these, these are wicked, stiff-necked Israelites, man. Let's go to, um, let's go to Luke 11, verse 15. They had the nerve to say this about Hamashiach, man. Luke 11. Verse 15. But some of them said he cast out devils through Beelzebub, the chief of the devils. Alright, precept upon precept, line upon line. Yes, Shabbat. Let's go to Matthew 12 and 17. Seventeen. Matthew twelve through seventeen, uh, verse seventeen through twenty-eight, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, "Behold, my servant, whom I have chosen, my beloved." All right, Mashiach was already prophesied in the old, in the prophets, man. And whom my soul is well pleased. That's why when he came out of straight out of the water, the Lord testified, man, that was the testify. I will put my spirit upon him, and he shall show judgment to the Gentiles. Mm. 
What is he talking about? And he shall not strive nor cry. Neither shall any man hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed shall he not break. And smoking flax he shall he not quench. Till he send forth judgment unto victory. And, his, and in his name shall the Gentiles trust. The Gentiles. Then was brought unto him one possessed with a devil. Blind and dumb. And he healed him. And so much that the blind and the dumb both spake and saw. Mm, that's how strong it was. That's how strong. Uh, uh, that, that the power of Elohim is man. And all the people were amazed. And said is not this the son of David. Which we know he's not really the son of David. All right. But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, this fellow does not cast out devils, but by Bezalel, the prince of the devils. And Jesus knew their thoughts because he is Elohim himself. And said unto them, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. It falls, man. It crumbles. And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan casts out Satan, he is divided Against himself. He's going to destroy himself. <laughs> How sh shall then his kingdom stand? And if I be. And if I by Beelzebub cast out devils. By whom do your children cast them out? Therefore they shall be your judges. Mm. But if I cast out devils by the spirit of God. Then the kingdom of God is come unto you. See they didn't understand the knowledge and wisdom of, of Mashiach man. They didn't understand. It took us to stumble and fall to get the message, man. Let's go to Isaiah 42 and 1. Mashiach was all, all, already prophesied, man. Behold my servant whom, uh, whom I uphold, my elect, and whom my soul delight of. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the streets. A bruised reed shall he not break, and the smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. Okay? He shall not fail, nor be discouraged, till he have set judgment in the earth, and the islands shall wait for his law. All right, so we gotta understand, understand what, what was everything, everything was already talked about, man. Let's go to Matthew three verse seventeen. Matthew three verse seventeen. Matthew 3, verse 17. And lo, a voice from he of um, from heaven, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Alright, let's go to 16. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out the water. And lo, the Shemayims were opened unto him, and he saw... The spirit of Elohim descending like a dove and lightning, lightning upon him. All right. He already had the spirit in him. Let's go to Isaiah 11 verse 2. Isaiah 11 verse 2. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom. And understanding. The spirit of counsel and might. The spirit of knowledge. And of the fear of the Lord. Alright. Remember he said it here. Of wisdom. 
2 verse 3 uh which one was that that was uh Wisdom. But, uh, but unto them which are called both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of Elohim, and the wisdom of God. Okay. Um. Tie that in. Let's go to go back here. And then to the angel of the church of the Laodiceans, write these things, say of the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of Elohim. Alright, just bring that out again. Okay. Let's go to Luke 12 and and uh 12 and 10. And whosoever shall speak a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But unto him that blasphemes against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him. All right, forgiven. Let's go to Matthew 15, verse 11. Not that which goeth into the mouth to follow a man, but that which cometh out of the mouth, this to follow a man. So you got to be careful, Zion. Let's go to 18. But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart, the mind, and they defile the man. All right, let's go to Mark 7 and 15. Mark 7 verse 15. There is nothing from without a man that entering into him can defile him, but the things which come out of him, those are they that defile the man. Let's go to Matthew 15 verse 20. These are the things which can defile a man, but to eat with unwashed hands defileth not a man. Let's go to Titus 1 and 15. Titus 1 and 15. Unto the pure, okay, the holy, all things are pure. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. But even their mind and conscience is defiled. Okay, let's go to Mark 7 and 20. Mark 7, verse 20 through 23. And he said, That which come off, which come out, cometh out of the man that defileth the man. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. This is what's up with these people evil thoughts, adulteries, fornication, murderers, theft, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lavishness, an evil lie, blasphemy, pride. Foolishness, all these things, all these evil things are come from within and defile the man. All right, let's go to First Corinthians three and seventeen. First Corinthians three. First Corinthians three. Yes. Seventeen. And if any man defile the temple of Elohim. Him shall God destroy, for the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Okay? Because, why? What, know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? All praises to our Elohim and his holy son, Hamashiach. Shalom, Israel. Peace and blessings to you. Stay in